So the very last thing I want to do is just adjust my height because, well, when I actually take a look and measure my height over here, let's see, where is it, miscellaneous, uh, I want it to be about 230 pixels high, and if it were a pixel or two off, that's one thing, but I I'm here at, at 260 pixels at least so that's that's 30 pixels more than I wanted it to be which you know you gotta assume that there's gonna well not assume there are going to be multiple results and if you're like one pixel off it may not kill your interface but if you're 30 pixels off on each thing that's huge I mean you're talking about hundreds of pixels in the matter of a couple of search results so What's going on here? I mean, it's like it's a little confusing at first, right? Because we have we've explicitly said we want a height of 630 on the parent element, and then we're saying, you know, overflow, just kill anything, you know, kill it from view if it goes over. But what's happening is that we have uh, padding in our in our design over here that's, that's shifting things around, and I'll show you. Once we I'm going to put all the way down at the bottom of my HTML. I'm going to put that universal selector with an asterisk, and I'll go padding, padding, and then I'll go zero, and I'll make it important to make sure that it's really jiving. And I refresh it. All of a sudden, you see everything goes smaller. And then if I do the, um, if I measure it again, I'm at where I want to be. I'm at exactly. 230 pixels height. Um, well, for starters, this is not going to work, right? We we can't just as put padding zero because that kills all of um, our our basically that spacing, vertical spacing that we want. So what we need to do is basically adjust our height and. It's not like as intuitive as you want it to be, but at least you recognize what's causing it. So I'm just going to real easy change my height from 230 to 200, and I have about about 30 extra pixels of space that uh, in my actual layout that's going to uh, make it that full 30 percent or 230 width container. So there you go. So just keep in mind that when you're adding padding um, to elements, it is going to add to the height of the element. So make sure you adjust for it accordingly.